Do you need those flotation devices though? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you got need those. Yeah, you need those. I need those. We need shells in here. Yeah, that's good. Of course, for a day out in the wilderness out on the ocean, you can't forget your power inverter. Those come in handy. Out. Sugar cane growing on the island. <laughs> All right. Look at it go. Yeah, let it go. And look here. You got a path that runs through here, a path right here. Yeah. 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 There's everything on these islands. No shortage of knife blades either. No, uh uh. And you come up this way. This is definitely a good island to survive on. Or you can just make that a bad one like you want. Nice cedar trees. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, these waters are full of oysters. Cool. And a good old fashioned aluminum boat, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. Because if you got fiberglass, they would have just ate it up right there. Go ahead. All the baby finger mullet? Now there's little ones right there, but there's bigger ones in here. And they get about like that big or even bigger. There's some there. All up in cedar. Running over there. There's a little bit bigger ones. Right over there, cedar. There's a whole school of We had that cast net. It just go boom. It catch a whole bucket load in one shot. Now look. Awesome, see? Whole bunch of them. They're all in. Boy, this is a heck of a muscle show here. Look at that. Yeah, nice, yeah. This is all of them. Yeah, it's all oysters. Oyster shells. This is how they form the islands. Oyster shells come out here and they'll die off as years go on and they'll build and build and build from the tides, brushing them up, and then the mangroves start. And the mangroves start growing, and that's how it creates islands. And then the barnacles build on the on the mangrove roots, and then they build, and everything builds, and it just becomes one big, huge biological thing. See, there's a mullet right there. Look at it. There's that size. That's the most perfect bait out here. Is that? Is that perfect? Why through there? And the thing is, we stood right here on this hill right here and casted right over there, all in there. And you'll see them running. You'll see, you'll see them thinning through there, and you see the, the bait going like this in front of them, you know. And they're rushing them right up into these shallows where they're hiding. And I, I was casting straight out there and caught three trout about that long. And then Wendy casted her first time right over there in that shallow ripping current right there, real about a foot of water, and caught a 28 ounce trout. <laughs> her first cast on a zero spook. That's amazing. Yeah. Ah, look at those clams. Now those are going to be good when I steam them up. We'll have to come out here next month. Sometimes you can get lucky and find bananas. Nice. Raw oyster. Yeah. Them are good. Yeah, they are good. Yeah. There's an oyster right there. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. That's a little one. Little one, though. Suck him down. Just like... Just like... Yeah. <laughs> 
just a few minutes there's a got this nice great big conch. Yeah, you can see he's inside there. Mm, delicious. A giant clam. Oh that's gonna be good, isn't it? Look at that, as big as my hand. And of course, oysters. Surviving on these items. Pretty easy thing. Well, as you can see, surviving on the islands down here in Florida, the food's abundant everywhere. Uh, water can be a concern, so um, uh, you have to collect dew or collect rainwater or bag uh, branches of the trees, collect the water like that. But, yeah, what a wonderful place to live. My name is Jack Survival. Thank you for watching.